as you know, I've spent one or two of these times we have together bitching about the playoff system and the problems it doesn't solve. It dawned on me today that this system was put in place to try and recreate the last day of the 2011 season which was a Wednesday, right, when both the Red Sox and Braves spat away playoff spots in the worst way possible. And thinking about that night and how that night gave us the Cubs we have now. It's been mentioned before of course. If the Red Sox merely go 819 in September that year instead of 720 and get the wild card spot, maybe Theo Epstein isn't looking at the exit door. Maybe the Red Sox aren't so blah about letting him go either. Or if Rays went 1611. They won that last game in extras and were close to losing it. And then maybe Epstein wants a new challenge anyway. Maybe the offer from the Cubs is just too good anyway. And who knows what the Red Sox end up becoming if he stays, though they ended up winning the World Series two years later anyway. And we've heavily discussed all the things that had to go right last year and in the build-up to last year to bring us what we only dreamed of before. I read a piece once, and I can't remember where, about how every offensive move in a soccer game is much like tadpoles trying to get to the sea. Only about 25% of them do having to negotiate the sand in predators and other conditions. It's so delicate, and so much can go wrong, and much like its scoring in soccer, is just as fragile. It can go on you at any moment. Winning a championship in any sport, especially those with playoffs, is the same way. Maybe even more so with the shrunk-down nature of baseball's postseason. It can be dizzying to think about for too long. It'll do my best to keep that in mind starting Friday. It's hard to do so when you dive into that pool of emotion and torture. But it's why we do this, isn't it? The boys here will have a complete breakdown and preview of the upcoming NLDS over the week. I'll just say my first impression is the Cubs are in awfully deep. In these now three playoff runs, the Cubs won't have faced a lineup as daunting as this. They have genuine weapons at five of the eight spots, and Worth and Taylor come with their own threat and Weeders has pop. Scherzer Strasburg and Zalas is as daunting a task as the Mets were in 15, and we know how that went. Still, it's baseball and the Cubs lineup appears to be rounding into form. If anyone can get to them, in my mind, everything is cyclical. I know it doesn't work that way, but I feel it. Even though the 2016 Cubs had nothing to do with the 1989 or 2008 ones, somewhere inside me felt things were put right when the Cubs beat the Giants and Dodgers. A score settled, even for just me. The Diamondbacks are still on that list, and one day the Mets. And Dusty Baker is on that list too. Yeah, I still hang on to things. It's not even Game 6 that scars me most. It's being more afraid of Lanny Harris than Mike Lowell in Game 1. Could have been a sweep otherwise. So I desperately want to be on the good side of a Dusty Balsip in the playoffs. There's a miss in my book. I wanted it turned from red to black. I'm a petty man. Filed under uncategorized.